Good morning, it is uh, another day in London. Last night my phone died at the Hard Rock. Uh, I'll enter some clips from Alicia's phone if we took some, I don't remember if we did or not. Um, but we're gonna go eat breakfast at the Conrad. Um, Alicia left our cards at home <laughs> and um, I had to set up Apple Pay, it was a, it was a mess, but we got dinner paid for it um, through Apple Pay, good thing we have Apple Pay. And um, anyways, we're going to go have dinner now, or breakfast at the Conrad. If you're new here to our channel, we're Garcia Family Vlog and we are traveling the world one city at a time with our toddlers, Conrad and Kennedy. I don't know if I showed this yesterday or not, but at night it was really cool. I should have videoed it, but that's uh, Westminster Abbey and that's the Parliament building right there. If you like this video, then please subscribe. Okay, we are at a new Airbnb now. We are tired of hotels and hotel breakfast and all that so we found an airbnb for our last two nights in london we got to our airbnb and it was just awful We got to our Airbnb and it was just awful. I will send you, I'll put some pictures in here now and videos so you can see. So there's no chance in uh, tech with to stay there. What a disaster this Airbnb was. It was so filthy, it hadn't been cleaned in months. So we got out of there and I wish I could say this is the last uh, hotel Airbnb disaster that we encountered, but we were just getting started for today. We find a hotel that we could walk to. Of course, it is a European hotel. It's not an American brand. We try to always stay in American brands when we're over in Europe. Um, we only requirement was that it had an AC, and it was two hundred and fifty dollars a night. And it is tiny, and our view is of a brick wall. So check it out. So this is why we stay in American hotels because non-American hotels they're extremely small. This is the smallest room we've ever stayed in. It's probably about 200 square feet. The bed's a full size. Uh, the air conditioning, the whole reason we stayed here uh, is not really working. So we opened the window to get some fresh air in here. The staff is really rude, not helpful. Um, there's no elevator to get up to the second floor, and the area is really sketchy. So we're probably going to go check out another hotel. Yeah, our biggest piece of advice when Overseas would be to stay in an American brand hotel. Yeah, that's Milton, what I've said. Or what else is there? Um, Best Westerns are nice usually. Marriott's all American brand hotels. Any American brand hotels. Okay, update to our journey. We are now in our third hotel room of the day, the nice Hilton Double Tree. Um, so we. <laughs> The last hotel room was just way too small and um, the air conditioning wasn't working. It advertised that it had air conditioning, but it was really just a fan that was blowing really, like slightly cool air. So and it was $250 a night. We just walked away from it because we just can't do that. Nice. Nice Hilton. We're just happy to be. It's an accessible room because they were sold out. It is what it is. Much better than the other two. Yeah. And they have their double tree cookies. We're just happy to be at the Hilton. Now that we finally have a hotel to stay in, we are gonna go grab some dinner and head to the park. So we just walked to a delicious dinner. It was very authentic at a place called McDonald's. Um, it was okay. It just was like normal McDonald's and they didn't have any sauces. So that was kind of weird, but it definitely wasn't as good as like the McDonald's in Italy, but it worked. It got the kids, they were happy and they ate. So then we walked down a I little the McDonald's Italy video to see how amazing McDonald's is in Italy. Yeah, you can watch the um, our vlogs from Italy just to see how amazing the McDonald's in Italy was. Um, now we just walked a little bit further past our hotel. Um, we are trying to find the Princess Diana Memorial Playground for the kids to play at. We are at the park, Hyde Park. So now we're just searching for the playground. So the playground was closed, so now we're going to look for at Kensington Palace at night. 
So we are at Kensington Palace now. This is where Princess Diana used to live. I thought it would be all lit up at night, but it's not. We made it back to the hotel. And simple things like this ramp would not be in a non-American hotel. <laughs> We went straight to bed last night when we got back to the hotel. Now we are enjoying a complimentary breakfast here at the Double Tree as Hilton Diamond members. And then we're gonna go check out the Princess Diana playground and let the kids get their energy out. And then we will go tour Kensington Palace since it was closed last night. This playground is massive. It's more like an amusement park than a playground, and you definitely have to watch your kids because they'll get lost very quickly. But this place was awesome. I highly recommend taking your kids here if you're in London. Okay, we are back at Kingsington Palace. We just let the kids play on the playground, the Princess Diana playground for a little bit, and now we are gonna go check out this palace. So we just left Kensington Palace. Uh, it was okay. It wasn't like anything amazing. Uh, there's nothing about Diana in there, even though that's where she lived. Um, but it was pretty cool. Just a typical. Yeah. Okay, we are at the Stabridge Suites now. Um, very nice. Has a cool kitchen. We needed to do laundry, so we needed to find a hotel that has a laundry mat. And luckily, the Stabler Suites does. Um, it's super nice, so uh, it's very big compared to all the other hotels we stayed at. How long we got in that? And this hotel is already equipped with the kids' bed right at the edge, so it's perfect for them. Okay, so we, um, after the palace tour, we went back to the Double Tree to collect our bag, and then we took an Uber to this hotel. We are, like I said, we had to come here to do laundry, and um, tonight we're gonna just walk along the riverfront and go um, buy Mexican food. We saw Frida's coming in, and I think it's the same Frida's that's in America, but I'm not too sure, but we'll find out. And we've been in the room for about 30 seconds, and Conrad's already got his contraptions set up what is that conrad um toilet paper tie all right we made it to the mexican restaurant and we got some ice water and ice is a luxury around here because they look at you like you're crazy when you ask for ice water but we are going to go ahead and enjoy dinner and we will catch you guys tomorrow for our last day in london before we head to amsterdam thanks for watching and if you made it this far please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button see you tomorrow